the collective energy analysis. So they're, they want to highlight the Metatrans cube activation today. So what I'm seeing in the 3D system, uh, most people's energy uh, with a physical vessel, the seven in-body chakras is actually really beautiful. It's very expanded, it's very open, it's very balanced. So this is the root through the crown, okay? Most, or a lot of energy healers, I'll say, not most, uh, only work with those seven chakras that are connected to the body. And I can tell more people, are, most meditations are focused on those. Um, and so we can see in the collective the shift from the chaos in the lower chakras to a harmonization of all the seven in-body chakras, okay? So the difference with the Metatron's cube activation actually goes in and opens and activates the higher gateways and clears and balances the lower gateways because the lower gateways are always activated to some degree, otherwise you wouldn't be anchored into the planet. But a lot of times we're not uh, working with balanced lower gateways. Okay, so we wanted to go into the um, higher gateways, what those are, how this works, and what are, what are the benefits for this. Okay, so this is what I'm seeing with the field, and this is why I feel this is the primary focus today, and why this information should get out. Um, higher gateways are closed. Soul Star is beginning to activate and the lower gateways are distorted, okay? So uh, basically with the Metatron's cube activation, when you open these higher gateways, there is um, a reduction in anxiety, a reduction in depression can lessen, uh, increased feelings of bliss, stability, a connection to source, you feel more connected to universal and cosmic energies more connected to your God self, your I am presence, that's the soul star. Um, the lower gateways, you can feel more grounded, more connected to the planet, more in your body. You can uh, have increased feelings of health and vibrancy as well as a flow of abundance because you're connected to source. So this abundance can flow through you and your life with much more grace and ease. Uh, there is also an activation of the Mercana, the 13 energy centers can begin the process of activating your light body. So your light body does not determine whether or not you travel through time and space. Your consciousness, you can travel through time and space whether you have a light body or not. Okay, that doesn't define that. The light body helps to structure the physical vessel and the crystalline matrix, which is your auric field. Uh, so you can hold more information and higher vibrational uh, energies, okay, higher frequencies. So this actually begins that process of activating the Mercana, the 5D body of light. And um, what it does is when you activate the Mercana, then you stabilize that frequency and then you have a new foundation to continue to elevate your frequencies, okay? So we're gonna go into the higher gateways now. The uh, cosmic gateway is the gateway to the cosmos or to source energy. So your soul is birthed from the galactic center, which is the cosmic gateway, into density from that space. So from the cosmic gateway, it descends through the densities and moves, uh, births through the universal gateway, okay, which is in Sirius. Then it continues to descend through the densities into the stellar gateway and births through the stellar gateway, which is the Pleiades, and then it births into the 60 orb of light, which is your soul star, okay? Your soul star is the combination of water, fire, earth, air, coming together as spirit, okay? It's all integrated, it's all harmonized there. This holds your soul information from this soul star chakra this information is projected into what we know as the auric field or creates the auric field, the crystalline matrix that is your auric field, okay? And that encompasses the chakras one through nine or the earth gateway through the seventh, okay? The, the crown chakra and the seven layers of the field. Then we get to the earth star chakra, which is about a foot and a half below your feet and the crystalline matrix is actually grounded into the Earth star. And the Earth star, it anchors into the center of the planet, which is the Earth gateway, and it mirrors the cosmic gateway as above, so below. 
Okay, so Metatron's cube activation, we go in and we open these higher gateways, balance, clear, activate. So you have access to cosmic energies, okay? And then we clear and balance the lower gateways so that you are very grounded and connected to the planet, okay? It's a harmonization and, and expansion. Um, this session can also begin the process of activating the DNA and the 12 strand DNA. Basically your DNA holds, uh, I don't know the exact number, it's like a certain amount of petrobytes and petrobytes are massive storage, okay? And it equals to about 13 billion years worth of data that you hold within your very being. So when you activate the DNA, basically you're able to access information within yourself uh, about anything, okay? You hold all of that within you. So the key is to open, to expand, to activate to higher frequencies so that you can then decode or access the information that you already hold, okay? So this is the power of Metatron's cube activation. When we get into uh, 5D, basically 4D is the in body chakras are really open, cleared, and balanced. You move through the heart up to the seventh. 5D, these have to be activated, the higher gateways. Once those are activated and your frequency is high enough, then your sh system shifts into the 5D and you are actually anchored into the expanded 5D sphere of Earth. So the Earth has seven layers of its auric field, just like we do and you will ground into that higher vibrational um, density on the planet, okay? So anyways, that is Metatron's Cube, and obviously that's recommended for today, and uh, if you're already in the 5D system, you can still do Metatron's Cube. Uh, you can still do it if you're 60 or 70. It just clears this channel of light and really harmonizes and balances everything, okay? Uh, I think I went into Metatron's Cube as it is, uh, holding the platonic solids. It's also a cosmic map. You can see it as the uh, density ranges as well and how they're all connected and integrated. Uh, it's a really powerful symbol to work with for clearing lower vibrational energies, for alignment with source, to spiritualize matter. You can use it or just harmonize spaces, okay? So I hope that was helpful. We'll see you next week.